There was mud in the eyes the last time ATV National Motocross lined up. Under the dark skies at Ionia Pass in Georgia. Joel Hetra got out front early and stayed clean. While everyone else ate his roots. Some of it took their machines completely out of action. The mud had led to Hetrick's championship undoing before, but not in this first moto, as he dominated. While everyone else was left slipping and sliding. Even getting back onto the racetrack was difficult. As Hetrick took the first moto win, things were a little bit better in moto number two. After bumping and banging around, Chad Wheaton was able to emerge with a hole shot, and the defending series champ finally got his title defense started. Hetrick would try to close the gap on his long running rival, but Wienan was simply too steady in the difficult conditions. Behind them, everyone else battled vision, battled each other, battled the elements, while Wienan looked clean up front. It was key for the defending champ to get his first moto victory of the year, but Hetrick wins the overall with Jeffrey Ristrelli on the podium. Better conditions expected today. Welcome to Mav TV's coverage of the ATV National Motocross Series. The venerable High Point Raceway has been hosting ATV National Motocross since the earliest days of the series, back in the mid 1980s and back in the three wheeler days. And this site is a welcome relief for the riders who had to endure the sloppy mud at our last race in Georgia. Even a few crashes couldn't dampen the spirits as we're back to perfect skies, sunny weather and a little bit of hard pack, high speed conditions on a technical up and down layout here at High Point. We'll have the typical qualifying followed by two motos, each paying championship points. And the typical stars is Torini out of Italy, All Red, Wesley Wolf, Lindquist is gonna be quick. Number two, proving himself as an up and coming star of this series. There's Logan Stanfield's machine. There's Nick Janusa, the New Jersey rider on the number 15. Cody Ford, Bryce Ford. That's the Baldwin Motorsports pit. Been around this series for a long, long time, winning a lot of races. And lately, Phoenix Racing has done the same, although this year sporting a little different look at every single event. Here's Joel Hetrick with more. Uh, we're just, I don't know, trying to be creative and do something different, bring a little bit of, I don't know, excitement to our tent. It's just pretty cool. Next next round is uh, going to be something unique, too, so we'll be looking forward for that one. And, you know, he's got some really cool ideas. David Eller, our team owner, has come up with this idea, and he's got some uh, pretty neat ones in, uh, in the future coming up. So, yeah, just uh, keep an eye out and look for the number 88 machine. It could be all sorts of colors. Yet our last race, he had Atlanta Braves look as we were racing outside of Atlanta in Georgia. Same look as always, a number one plate on the blue Yamaha for Chad Wien and got his season finally rolling with a moto win last time out. Man, up here, way up here in uh, High Point Raceway and uh, it's, it's really cool. We got great weather today and um, just coming into this event, I've been down in Florida getting myself ready, um, like feeling really good. Uh, I've been working a lot on, uh, you know, start technique and uh, it's so important and um, sometimes you overlook it and you got to really dig in and uh, been able to do that and uh, just sharpen things up and be uh, be better at the front of the pack and it really helped out like that that last moto at Aonia uh, getting that start that second moto and um, we got to continue that and uh, feeling good excited for today and uh, see if we can get some good finishes. Well Hetrick got the jump on everyone in the series by winning the first two races overall so he has the points lead you know we would like some of those back Brandon Hahog, Logan Stanfield a lot of other riders ready to line up Jeffrey Rastrelli and show what they can do here as we watch qualifying. And Hetrick is always quick on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha. For years, he has been the rider to beat when it comes to throwing down one fast lap. Hogue, though, he's got to be the most improved rider this year. He has been podium bound throughout the season. And look at that, throwing in a whip on that far side triple here at High Point. Here's the famous downhill rollers. Weenan using that six foot four leverage. Nick Janusa negotiating that section. You really see the speeds they throw down here at High Point. All red. 
And Bryce Ford here. Two young riders with a lot of speed in this series. Jeffrey Rastrelli, the veteran, holding it down. He and Bryce Ford, by the way, have had great battles the last couple of years. I think Linquist here, the number two, is in that mix for the podium as well. This is Zach Decker on the 23. Watch out for him. And Logan Stanfield on the 55. Love the grass here at High Point. Started incorporating that the last couple of years, throwing grass seed down. Gives the track a real kind of old school vibe and flavor with the grass. There's Cody Ford on the number five. 101 of Jimenez. Patrick Torini out of Italy. And Catriel Altamirano rounds out your field. Michael Allred, good job. Fifth fastest. Brandon Hogan solid second. And Hetrick on top as usual. We'll be right back. ATV Motocross on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. And by Rocky Mountain, ATVMC.com. And by CST Tires. Back at ATV Motocross here at High Point, MAV TV's coverage. Jeffrey Rastrelli has been very, very strong this year, so let's get an update on his 2022 season and prospects today. I really like this place, really enjoy the track, really enjoy the racing here. The track um, always provides great racing. For uh, the pro class, and like last year was really good. It was a really good battle uh, throughout the whole pack, so really look forward to today. And uh, yeah, coming off a podium in Aonia, I can't, uh, can't explain how good this year's been for us. I mean, two out of three uh, rounds I've been on the podium, so looking to make it three out of four here today, and uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, hopefully we can do so. So let's get ready for the High Point National here. In Mount Morris, Pennsylvania, about an hour south of Pittsburgh, we've had amateur racing out on the track throughout the weekend. That's really one of the cool things about this series. We have amateur races, including the kids, on track all weekend, but then we part the seas and get ready for the very high performance machines and the best riders in the world to go racing in our two pro motos. Brandon Hogue and the rest of the riders are ready to head on out, and the fans are ready to head to the fences. Wesley Wolf and the rest of the pack ready to get rolling, so let's line it up for mode number one. As we mentioned at the top of the show, beautiful conditions today, perfect dirt, perfect weather, and a nice respite after some craziness at our last race with all the mud in Georgia. Let's go racing. Big battle into turn one. Oh, I thought it was gonna be the four of four to the inside, but Whedon said he was working on those starts and he's got the Wheaton Motorsports Yamaha up front. Nick Janusa gonna carry our Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board and you see all the catastrophes that happen if you're not at the front of the pack, bumping and banging around and Wheaton already looking to get away. Slow start to this season by his standards. He's looking to pick up where he left off by finally getting that moto win in our last race and Ford, who is a very quick runner early, already losing a couple of bike lengths to the eight-time champion. It's like Hogue, Rastrelli, and then Hetrick. So Hetrick having some work to do. Love that shot. See just how much roost these machines throw. Big battle here as Hogue is trying to get around Ford. Bryce in that number two position. Under fire right now. And Hetrick started to roll up on Rastrelli as we still follow this battle for the number two spot. There is Wienan downhill through the rollers. And there's a move or an attempted move by Hetrick and he gets around Rastrelli. That is key. He does not want Wienan to start building momentum, but that's exactly what the big man from Galena, Illinois is starting to do as he draws away from this Ford and Hogue battle. Hetrick looking to close up. Good battle here with Janusa and Allred. Man, is that fun to watch. Allred just defying gravity. See how much hang time they really get on these big machines. Ford has responded. He's keeping actually Wien in about the same distance that he was after the first two laps. Keeping him in sight. 
while dealing with this. Which is pressure. Oh, a little mistake from Ford there. That's going to draw Hogue back toward him. He looks over and actually sees now Hedrick challenging Hogue. So great racing here. Hedrick just shading to the inside. Looking for running room anywhere. Now big drive around the outside. It's what we used to call Bradshaw Boulevard and tripling pass. Joel Hedrick's up to third. Weenan starting to put it back together, marching back away as Ford is now going to have to deal with Joel Hetrick for second. And they are on the edge, as you can see. Hetrick trying to get down to the inside. And you love how Hetrick is just able to work inside, outside. Wherever these guys are, he just goes somewhere else. That's easier said than done. To maintain or actually exceed the pace of the rider around you while using the bad lines, unbelievable, but Hedrick has done it, and he's moved into second. The rider originally out of Pennsylvania, probably comfortable on this clay at high point. Jimenez having his problems. That's unfortunate for the one-on-one. -on -one. We go back to the battle, down to the inside. How about Hogue? Looking to get Ford. No, Ford fights him off around the outside. He'll be on the inside of this next corner. Looks him over. Oh, and they collide. And they're hooked on each other. And Hogue's not done. He's coming right back. He tried to dive underneath. Ford had the line blocked. Let's see if it materializes again in this corner. Almost up to the grab bar. Some of the best racing we've seen in years. And a lot of it because this young talent is bringing the heat. Both trying to challenge Weenan and Hetrick and then challenging each other. And look, they are staying right there on the rear tires of Joel Hetrick, and Hetrick is not able to make up much ground on Chad Weenan. It's the ride that Chad Weenan needed. He got it. And that moto win last time out, but it was in the mud. It's hard to pass or even really stay close to someone with that roost. Today, it's all about speed. Not a mud race, and now Hedrick is starting to close just as quickly as I say that. So let's see if Hedrick can make a last dash for this moto win. He is starting to get the one in his sights and get within striking distance. So here we go. Ford trying to win this tenacious battle for the podium. Wow, Hedrick is there. He's going to try to strike down on the inside. Here we go. And side by side. Hedrick might be able to make the move around the outside. Can he close up? He does. What a pass around the outside. He's made a couple of outside moves. He used an outside and a jump to get around Hogue. Outside through the rollers to get second around Ford. Outside through that hairpin turn to take it from Weenan. This is a statement ride. Weenan not taking it lying down. Looking to get him back. And Hedrick able to squirt away before that tunnel jump. And what a command performance. Listen to the crowd. They love it from the home state native here. Ford looking to survive this battle. And now Hedrick has pulled away. What a charge. Just as quickly as I had said, Weenan was holding him back there. Hedrick just found another gear. And he knows how important momentum is in this series. He does not want Weenan to get on a roll with a lap to go in this first moto. He has answered. Starting in fifth. Passing each of these guys straight up to get to the front. That is a heck of a ride. And we've seen many great ones from Joel Hedrick over nearly a decade of running up front in this class. But this is one of his best ever to do it with that kind of start. And now pulling away with command. There's Hogue back there in fourth. That was a great battle for third. Checkered flag in sight. Joel Hedrick has Moto 1, a statement ride at high point. Look for Strelli stealing fourth from Hogue at the end. This one means a lot to Joel Hedrick. ATV Motocross coverage on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. 
by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. We're getting ready for Moto2 High Point National ATV Motocross. Cool jersey there on Torini, the Italian rider. Joe Hedrick ready to go in Moto2, a dominant run in Moto1 to come through traffic. Let's go racing. Hedrick gonna try to hold it from the middle. Oh, and a huge pile up in turn one. And that is Hogue and Rastrelli, two podium level riders who are now gonna pick themselves up at the very back of the pack. They battled for fourth in Moto1. Now it's gonna be difficult. It's Rastrelli just getting going. No one behind him. We'll check his progress. Here's Weenan down to the inside. Looking to get up to second and try to keep Joel Hedrick in sight. That is Max Lindquist. Didn't see much of him in Moto1, but a much better start here on the number two. He's the one battling Weenan for second. And then Bryce Ford on the number four coming through next. And just falling away on these downhills. Look at the speed of Joel Hetrick today. And the fans loving it here in his home state. He's listed on the results chart, Statesville, North Carolina, but that's the home of his team. Born and raised here in Pennsylvania. And he has got high point absolutely wired series points leader making it look easy Weenan has taken over second leaving this Lindquist and Ford battle for third and I'm here for it these two could really hook it up and keep it exciting as they try to keep the veterans in check Weenan riding well today but Hedrick is just next level there's Hogue, we check in on the rider down in turn one, 14th place for the rider who's fifth in Moto1. Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board with Ford. He's trying to run down Linquist, and he's getting closer. Ford on that number four. Hedrick, it's what I call the uh, meant to do that. You see the machine get sideways at times and you think maybe he's having a problem and then he puts it back down and you're like, nope, You've got everything dialed. Even the little mistakes don't turn into big ones. And uh, that little bit of edge that he's got, like right there, he jumped to the top of that jump while turning. It, it seems crazy when the move first starts, and then by the time he gets in the corner, you realize it was just purely brilliant. There's Rastrelli as, again, we'll track the progress from the back. Him and Hogue after the early crash. Hedrick making it look easy. A couple of battles to watch here. Still Linquist holding Bryce Ford at bay. Maybe not quite the day Ford wanted. His standards sure are high now. He wants to run with the likes of Weenan every week. Today, Weenan able to get away from him in the two motos. There's Nick Janusa in fourth, just behind that battle. And here's Rastrelli making his way through, challenging Allred now to get into the top 10. And laps just clicking off for Joel Hetrick. What a ride. Ah, oh, Wesley Wolf having his problems. Versatile rider who's done it all. Races in the woods, races motocross, but he's had his struggles this year. Haven't seen him up front as much. Sometimes that's the way the, the ball just bounces. We were saying the same thing on a different scale for Chad Weenan. Usually starts the season off very strong. But right now trying to solve the riddle at his head trick. Here's Hogue making more moves toward the front. What a comeback. That is impressive considering how far back he was at the beginning of this race. He and Rastrelli are lucky to be okay. They're tangling in turn one. Looks like Hedrick has backed it down just a hair now, but he has a controllable lead. 
Gurastrella, you cannot do that. Now he's around Logan Stanfield up to eighth. He's going to let it hang out. Potential podium, maybe, or at least championship points on the line. Been a perennial third place points rider the last couple of years. Some great battles through the years with others, but uh, we had some riders retire, and now that leaves him as a veteran, along with Hetrick and Weenan. Trying to hold off the kids is Rastrelli. Joel Hetrick bringing it home on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha. Switched to the Yamahas a couple of years ago. A little more advanced machine with fuel injection. Oh, look at that. Using the airtime, fist pumping for the crowd. I think it's maybe taking them a little bit to get this Yamaha exactly where they like it, but there is no doubt they've got it dialed this year. Rastrelli still going. He wants Zach Decker here in the last lap for more points. Checkered flag in sight. Come from behind, win in Moto 1. Gate to flag, win in Moto 2. Dominance, and look at that. Decker is able to hold off Rastrelli to the flag, and Rastrelli gave it everything he had. There's Hedrick on top of the podium. Ford will take third overall over Linquist and Janusa. Talk to our top riders. Just got done here with our second moto at High Point. Uh, rode my own race and felt really good. Um, confident going into the second one. Uh, second moto got a really bad start. Just wanted to ride smart and I went three, four on the day, which was really good for me. And, and it's a positive step in the right direction. So I'm super excited to go to the next race and just continue to work and progress throughout the season. And, and hopefully I can get up on the top step of the box. Joel was ripping, uh, man. I just gave everything I had today. Just wasn't meant to be. And um, I'm going to keep pushing. Um, heading back home to Illinois. So hopefully we can uh, we can rekindle some good work and uh, keep, keep pushing and uh, try to make this championship interesting. I would say I never look back, but I look back to days where uh, Chad was at. And uh, you know, I pulled some really good laps right off the bat. And just after that was maintenance. And, Bike was working awesome today. Phoenix Racing has that thing dialed in for me. Uh, you know, I just want to keep the momentum rolling, heading into Ironman, another one of my favorite tracks. So we'll see you there. We will see you there, but first we'll give you the CST Tires race recap from High Point. Chad being an out front early in Moto One, had Bryce Ford right behind him, and we didn't start to pull away. Bad start for Hedrick. You'll see him come through in about fifth place. And it's hard to make up that much ground on these tracks, on these big wide machines. But boy, did he do it. Let's see what it looks like here. Starting to make moves first around Hogue, then around Ford. And then Daring Do. Well, actually, Ford and Hogue in this battle literally coming together. That is for third. Ford then able to get away. And then Hedrick starts to close on Wienan. Risk it for the biscuit, outside line for the pass to take over the lead and then begin to check out. That's one of the most impressive motos you'll ever see. And then Moto2, the big crash with Rastrelli and Hogue both back up and okay. Hedrick, once he had that whole shot, was gone. Max Linquist and Chad Wienan battle it out for second. Hedrick just unstoppable. Wienan wins the battle with Linquist to take second in the moto. He's second in both motos. And Hogue and Rastrelli, again, they were okay, so they were able to work their way forward. Hogue sixth, Rastrelli eighth. Wesley Wolf had equipment problems. Just a continuing comeback of Hogue to get that sixth place finish. Then Rastrelli down to the last lap to get that eighth. Here are your point standings. Ford now up to third. Hetrick extending the points lead over Chad Wienan as we head to Indiana and Ironman. Can anyone stop the 88 and 22? We'll find out next week.